What's going on crypto bros? It's your boy Scrim Games. Okay, so since I made some uh, crypto videos and Bitcoin videos in the past, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make this one since Bitcoin is um, down big from when I was uh, making previous videos. So basically went all the way from the $30,000 level, tripped and fell down to 27, then tripped and fell down. Um, and just kind of kept tripping and falling all the way down to the 20,000 level. We got all the way down to 17,000 and now we're back floating around 20,000. And because of the economy and markets, so it's really um, risk off for risk on assets. And Bitcoin's kind of being categorized like a tech stock or like a risk on stock. So basically if you are um, holding on to Bitcoin, I wouldn't take... Um, the loss because it would be pretty much selling at the bottom not financial advice worst case scenario everybody has to wait until 2024 during the bitcoin halving so on the 200 week moving average we are actually we are actually below that line and you can see in the past bitcoin normally just bounces right off it we're in a really unique market environment where the fed has to do all these rate hikes there's all this inflation supply chain issues um there were cascading liquidations actually in crypto because there were so many people on leverage and um, people got margin called and um, they pretty much had to sell and just kind of kept crashing the price down. So we are at um, oversold levels based on the charts and even with the RSI relative strength index that's also um, pretty much down at the bottom there. and. Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we are at 6, Extreme Fear. Usually a good time to buy. Um, greed and fear <laughs> in crypto, it kind of kind of works and kind of doesn't. So take that with a grain of salt. And for the Bitcoin Rainbow price chart here, you can see um, we are in basically a fire sell level. So um, if you don't have Bitcoin or are accumulating um, this is probably a good time to start accumulating, not financial advice. And you can see here the halving is going to be in the uh, beginning of 2024. People thought Bitcoin wouldn't go below previous all-time highs, and it just did. And this net unrealized profit loss chart, you can see people are starting to capitulate. Basically, um, people selling for a loss, but there's a lot, um, a lot more, you know, diamond hand strongholders than previously, so fewer people are selling. Those were some charts from uh, Nathan Sloan, Investing Made Simple. Here's Matthew Crowder from Trader University, kind of references Bitcoin as um, Amazon, how volatile it was. And everything is pretty much down. All assets are down. Stock market will probably go down more and crypto market will probably go down more. Um, you know, Gareth Soloway, he was calling for 20K Bitcoin for a while. People thought he was crazy. Um, I thought he was a little bit crazy, but you know, here we are. And uh, here's Greg Dickerson. Um, you know, he thinks Bitcoin could definitely go lower, and the stock market could go lower because the Fed has just started with all their rate hikes, and they're going to keep going, and it's going to keep hurting the markets. Here's a chart from Data Dash for the alt metric, and Jason Pizzino here can see crypto um, and Bitcoin capitulating. I think we are near a bottom, not financial advice. I think we definitely could go lower to like 17, 15K, maybe get a wick down there. Um, you can see all the way back here, the 17,000, we kind of bounced off that uh, support in the 17,000 level from back there um, and from over here. Uh, worse comes to worse, we, you know, go down to the 12,000 level, and I don't think we'll, we would be going down much further. So alts should continue to bleed against Bitcoin. So, um, you know, having any alts are risky. A lot of things happened in the crypto market. You know, Doquan with Terra, that collapsed. You know, depegging, like with uh, UST. And kind of think, you know, like, you know, what am I going to invest my money in? There's like thousands of cryptocurrencies and thousands of stocks and stuff. There's way too many things and currencies for people to put their money into. 
So we're going to see a huge flush of um, a lot of this crap, basically. So there you have it, Bitcoin floating around 20K probably will um, drop a little lower. But whenever the Fed pivots, stops all these rate hikes, gets inflation under control, um, we'll see a huge rally, but probably not till September or later this year. You know, some people think 20K is the bottom, 17, 15, 13, 10. So nobody has a crystal ball, but take this all with a grain of salt. All right, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, sub, share, and I will see you next time. Peace.